Hey guys and welcome back to the fourth in a row Grimsby Town to Glory FIFA 21 career mode episode And the real reason I'm doing this, yes, thank you again for 100k or 1k subscribers Got a bit ahead of myself there There will be a new series coming out very shortly, prepping that But I'm honestly really enjoying this and you guys are giving great support on it. So we'll keep on going. As we've got one player, Elliot Hewitt, up for the uh, player of the month. Scunthorpe lose to Markham. you love to see it. As we head into today into the Papa John's Trophy, first of all. But I'm going to show you the calendar all together. Quite a little bit of games. And I say it's a little bit. We have this cup competition that we have to win. We have Mansfield top of the league. Barrow who's beat us. Then Trammy and Crawley. Not going to be an easy day, as I hope all of you guys have had an easy day, a very nice day as well. Stay safe out there and stay well in the mind, the mental side of it, because it can be hard in lockdown, as we need to try and get a couple more wins. I've just seen as well the Cheltenham, as you can see on screen right now, the Cheltenham boss got manager of the month. We only lost one game in that month, and it was to Cheltenham, but still, we won five out of six. We should have got it. As I don't want to sound butthurt as well, as we go into this game, this game as well, has a lot riding on it because one, if we lose, I think we'll be out of this competition. Got a loan offer here, but it's an option to buy, so we'll reject it. And two, there's a lot of players that I'm putting in this team that have only got like eight month contracts the rest of the season. So players are actually playing for their contracts here. If they play well, I'll renew them. If they don't, I might think about moving them on, you know. I'm, I just want to play a couple of guys who won't usually play and see how they can do. As we are on the Northampton day, Dixon, the Barrow goalkeeper, gets play of the month. Our keeper as well, James McEwen, has been called up for Ireland, so great on him, a bit of a voice break. He hasn't gone yet, though, still in the reserves, as this is going to be the team that plays for the contracts and plays for a result. Yes, we may still lose. These are a great team at uh, Northampton, but still... I want to use some boys that won't usually play. So, Ollie Battersby makes his first appearance in net, the youth keeper, who I wanted to get out on loan and didn't go, with Hewitt dropping to right back, even though he is now a central midfielder. Idahan, Pollock, and Joey Hope back in the team over Presnu. He just needs to go back off his loan with Buckley and CDM. Now a centre-back, of course, as we know it, with Spokes and Hartigan at either side. Max right on the right, Martin on the left, who's gone up and training to be a proper left wing, with Montel Gibson. Yes, Monty up front. We want him to try and break the mould a bit, because he's a player I'm unsure about, because every offer we get in for him is a loan to buy. So if we could get him out, if he doesn't play well, we can actually get him out because clubs want him. Now to the Cobblers, Northampton lineup. They had the Liquidator on as well before a kickoff. That would have got me copyrighted with Arnold, Harriman, um, Bolger, Forsall, Flanagan, Adams, Watson, Vargas, Hoskins. I think that's Danny Rose and Nuttall up front. I know Rose and Hoskins are decent players. Don't know about the rest of them. Don't really know this team very well. I know they got promoted from a... Uh, our league just a while back as we've put a weak team against a strong team. On paper, it's only going one way. But come on, we're the mighty Mariners. We're second in League 2. Yes, these are a league above. But still, we have the confidence and the momentum, I think. However, it is Northampton starting off a little bit better. Of course, these have got the, uh, the guy that probably most of you guys know, Scott Pollock. Of course, got put into FIFA as a YouTuber himself. As Hartigan running down this wing. He's got Martin in the middle. Can Martin get a shot off here? Ooh! And I thought that were in the top corner. That would have been good. Good running from him. And, oh, it's a ball through to Hoskins to make it one. And he does. Ollie Batters being the net. Can't save it. And as soon as we take that shot, they go up the other end and score. Hoskins with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent little goal, that. I didn't expect him to get that pass off. I thought... Uh, I think it's Hewitt, actually, to get the ball. Oh, not doing as well as he is in the league there defensively. He should have got that ball. He didn't. He went through one-on-one -on -one with Battersby. And when he's a new keeper against the team from the league above, it only goes one way. And we really, really did need to beat Barrow if we were going far in this competition. Because I know we had that one shot, but Northampton have dominated here. However, Martin, he's turned his defender. This guy I'm looking forward to in the future of this team. He cuts back inside, gives it to Montel Gibson, onto Luke Spokes, who's tackled. And now it's Danny Rose, one-on-one. -on -one. Great tackle from Matty Pollock, though. Great player him as Buckley, who's usually his partner. Pass it forward into Montel Gibson. Luke Spokes is getting forward at every chance, but he's gone to Buckley. The centre-back may have a chance to run forward. He hasn't got much pace, but he's got past Gibson in the middle, and Montel Gibson scores. The, f uh, not the finesse, the sweaty goal opportunity celebrates in front of the away fans as we get an equaliser. Yeah, didn't expect that. The Northampton fans must be shouting and booing to their team because it's a sweaty goal. You don't concede a sweaty to a centre-back and 
third choice striker. As they have done here, Gibson just taps it in. He would never miss him, worry. Bolger was never getting across the captain, the big captain as well at that. And little five foot seven Montel scars. And it's Vargas in the middle with a ball straight through. Come on, let's hold on to it for now. Duncan Idahan putting the pressure on as it goes to Danny Rose. He was a Mansfield player, of course. We play next, sitting top of the league. That's the most important game with Hoskins on it again. Through the middle to Nuttall. Great chance. Good save, Oli Battersby. Great save from the young keeper. And it's a good clearance as well up to Spokes. This could be a counter-attack, you know. Luke Spokes trying to go around his man. Easily got past his man. Puts it through to Gibson. These low-rated players maybe coming up trumps here. Montel Gibson on the angle. That's a poor shot. But Max Rice is going to keep it in, is he? He is. Give it in the middle to Hewitt. Hewitt across the box to Gibson again. And Gibson's put it in the bottom corner. Oh, my days. It was a shocking shot to start off with. But at the second chance, Montel Gibson gets his brace. And this guy, of course, I was saying I wanted to get rid of. If he didn't play well, he's definitely defying the expectations here. Great finish. Hewitt with another assist. Great player as well. And look at that. Finessed into the bottom corner and we lead against a League One club with our backup team. And it's Nuttall on the ball again. Knocked off the ball from Pollock. Oh, we slid in there, but they didn't get it. Idahan with a great bit of strength on show as well. Joey Hope down the line to Martin. This has been a great uh, game so far from these forwards as well. Look at Martin go. He is really on form today. Turn in. Oh, it was a smooth turn as well. Martin with a shot from range. He's not made himself, but he's still got to run on here. May just be offside as he gets the shot across. It was on as that referee. Come on, blow your whistle right now. There we go. We lead the Cobblers 2-1 at half time, and this is a great result if we can nick it, but of course... It won't probably stay like this. We're not going to make changes, I don't think. Or do we need to? No, we don't really need to. Save the players on the bench. The first team has a bit of energy. We've got a wire Redwoods, who I also want to play as well, just because um, Bristol City are moaning. But as for now, great stuff. And it's Elliot Hewitt to get this second half underway. Dribbling forward, gives it to Gibson on a hat-trick. As Max Wright gets the ball away, back to him. Get that ball to Buckley. Buckley looking for a player far forward, never reaching him. And that is a great ball through to Nuttall. Duncan Idahan's in a foot race. Nuttall wins it, but he goes over the ball. That was smart from him. As Hewitt's got uh, dangerous defending to do now. Deals with the uh, first little bit easily. It goes back into Hoskins, though. Rose on it now. Rose squeezes it round. Oh, my days. It's getting nervy now as I've got a shot off. Idahan's everywhere, though, and he's great at doing them interceptions. Honestly, I've got to praise the whole team. The whole team today has been fantastic, including this guy. Very underrated at the moment. Max Wright is going to put a ball into Gibson, who gets the hat-trick he's deserved. Montel Gibson is absolutely tearing Northampton's defence apart, and I did not expect this from my 57-rated striker. They must have a backup team out. I just got the formation wrong, because we are dominating this game. Yep, another finish from Monty, and it's a great one. Hat-trick hero. I mean, he's out doing George Williams and Ira Jackson Jr. at this rate. I mean, I might have to put him in the team for the next game against Mansfield. Maybe that's a bit uh, premature, though. Of course, they are top of the league, but Monty's doing great, and he's taking his chance with both hands. As uh, I've got to run through the middle as well there. Spokes. Spokes on the ball. Who's this at the side of him going in the middle? Whoever it was has stopped the run when the shunt of a Spokes. Has been brilliant this game. Still going, Luke Spokes. Still going. Going to take the shot from range. Looking for that bottom corner and almost found it. Excellent performance. This Owara Edwards is also going to come on in the centre of midfield because we are attacking a lot. Hartigan can have a rest. He's around the first team. And Max Wright's done superb, so he ain't coming off as Edwards is going to deliver the corner. Header is in. And it's won. It's Matty Pollock. Today's captain, and it's the youngster who gets his first goal. He's got about six or seven in real life, and he's got one here. Brilliant header from a young player, and you love to see it. 61 rated is criminal for this guy. He's been fantastic. Look at that. Strong enough at the front post. Gets the header in, and the young 18-year-old captain with the finish. And you might be able to tell how good the uh, momentum is flowing in the camp right now. The morale is something I have focused on heavily in this career mode, and it's proved how good it works. As Flanagan in the middle, we are beating a League One team for two now, away from home. I'm gonna say 4-1, but I think it's Nuttall who scored, good finish. I mean, if it was a higher rated keeper, I'd probably expect him to save it, but we're not gonna be harsh on Ollie Battersby. His positioning were right, 
Just the save was all wrong. I mean, it, it was non-existent, wasn't it? It's Harry Smith. And oh my days, I could get another back. It's Rose and Battersby's off his line very quick to receive that ball. Good roll out that, or not roll out, throw. Distribution, whatever you want to call it. And what a pass from Buckley. Is he on side, Spokes? He is. Luke Spokes, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's got a man at the side of him, but he goes for the shot. And that is a goal this guy has deserved. He has been fantastic as Luke Spokes. Little mimic of a celebration, mocking the home fans, kissing uh, his hand after touching the badge. As that is 5-2 away from home at Northampton. Great, great performance. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It was a great ball from Buckley as well. Finesse as it doesn't go for the sweaty as he gets his first of the season. And how about this for a performance? Still not over the line. It could be another one for him as it is. It is another one. Oh my days. Five for it. Eight goals in the Papa John's Trophy. This competition's really going to light now. It's one that Grimsby don't focus on in real life. I don't think many do as Hoskins is going mental. He's got his second goal here. Mate, look at the scoreline. You're against a team in the league below, and it's not even the strongest team. Well, it might be the strongest team now. I may have to consider a lot of these players for the game against Mansfield, although it is a uh, top-of-the-league clash, as we've got just... Well, we're over the minutes added on. The referee should blow his whistle any minute, and does. A 5-3 victory against Northampton. Plenty of goals, and that should sneak us through to the next round. Barrow, Northampton, and us, of course, only a three-team group. And I think we've done enough goal difference-wise and win-wise to get through. As we were just brilliant there. Now it's on to Mansfield Town. Top of the league. I want to see how their games have gone. I think we have been very lucky this year as well. Both got 10 results. It's just the draws. We haven't had any draws at all. We've lost a lot of games, as you can see. In the top eight, we've lost the most. But we could go top of the league if we were in the next one still with six losses. That's how open this league is, literally. Stevenage in 10th. I mean, I mean Scunthorpe as rivals. Even, even Newport County in 19th have lost more games. Uh, lost li little games than us. I'll get there in the end, as we've got to speak about something else little as well. Montel Gibson. <laughs> Bit of a harsh thing to say about him there. As I think... I've got some big decisions to make, of course, and your Jackson Jr. did play well a couple of games ago. George Williams on fire, top assist in the league as well. I haven't shown you that uh, off screen. And Gibson as well. First of all, we're going to get to contracts before this next game. And sorry, Cissé Toro, you're just not in the plans at all. And we want a lot of people to get on board with this project we've got going on at Grimsby Town right now. So, Ollie Battersby is a youth keeper I would like to keep here. Yes, he's not that high rated. He might stay as a prospect forever, but still, I'll give him a 50 quid wage drives for that game he's just played, and they see it reasonable. Four years out of him. And alongside him will be Joey Hope getting that fi uh, 50 quid, sorry, offer uh, up for him. Duncan Idahan, the same, the centre-back who has been playing quite recently. And last but not least, is going to try and be Matty Pollock. But this guy is around the first team. He's been a brilliant player for us so far this season. So this guy is probably going to get a hefty um, feet up as Will he take rotational? He wants an important. Okay, so he knows how good he is now. I like to see his ego has gone up a bit. Four-year contract. I'll accept Mikel Arteta is his uh, agent as well. Disregard that. He wants 700 quid. I will give him that. I don't really want to give him that bonus, though. That's a lot of a... Uh, Money for a youth player as a bonus, so they'll accept it without 700 quid a week for Matty Pollock, who just scored. And as for the rest of the boys, yes, we've got the uh, likes of, I think it's Hewitt who's out of contract. Yeah, Hewitt, Clifton, Spokes. I'm going to wait on them. I am seriously going to wait. I just wanted to get the youth players set up and in the team, as this is the most vital team so far as we play Mansfield. It's not a derby. It's not anything like that. But it is a huge game with James McEwen in the goal again. Hendry's there. Holmes, Pollock and Doig. So we have changed back. Of course, the uh, fitness will go up. We're not at the day yet. With Rose, CDM, he's been brilliant. Hewitt and Clifton. Scannell, Williams and Bennett. So yeah, it is basically the first team. But a lot of players have worked their way to the bench, including Gibson knocking Tilly and Martin into the reserve. Spokes is there. Hardigan and Buckley as a defensive backup. And just before we go into this game, we have got through in the Papa John's Trophy. Nice to see against Crew. We played in pre-season and beat, so that's got my hopes up. Oh, however, no, he's out for the best game of the season. James McEwen, our star player in this team, has gone to play for Ireland. So, I mean, there's no priority for League 2. They'll just get knocked about all the time. It's going to have to be Russell, isn't it? I don't think Battersby really ready. Of course, he shipped three goals in. I don't think he's that ready. Although this guy did against Leighton Orient. 
in the cup. It's going to be difficult to rotate now, but against top of the league, it's not what I want. It's not ideal, but if we get the result, it will be huge. And let's have a look at this Mansfield Town lineup who are top of the league. Stone, Clark, Sweeney, Mayonnaise, he's a mayonnaise. Benning at left back. Perch, Lapils, Clark, Charles, who's a good player. Nicky Maynard and an ex Grimsley player, Cook up front. It's going to be very difficult to beat these. Very good lineup, and of course, they're at the top of the league for a reason. We have to play well. And it is Mansfield starting off the better. The Stags as Perch has the ball in the middle. We're cutting off the passing lanes. That's what I'm going for in this game. Because I know they like to pass it around like in real life. With Cook on the ball. Chasley making a good run. But a great tackle in there from Danny Rose. Little legs. But such a good engine in that middle. Still, he can't stop. He's supposed to be in between the defenders. Isn't. As they've gone in between the defenders. And it's a great save from Sam Russell. The backup keeper in the net. Really good. But we a dive to stop it from going in. It's still going to be a corner for Harry Chasley. And Mansfield as it's in the danger zone, sorry. As the Lapils has the ball on the edge. Can we get the tackling? Hendry is turning you too easily. And it's another great save. It's all Mansfield in the first 10 minutes. We need to try and sort this out. I mean, not a substitute, of course, but just get our foot on the ball and try and play football as Lapils gives it in the middle. It's Maynard who's turned as well and scored first. Mansfield lead at Blundell Park as it's Nicky Maynard. Loves a lot of goals in real life. This guy who has finished it off rather superb. Being a good player for a while as Nicky Maynard. He was at Bury when they got promoted and, um, yeah, of course, liquidated. Apologies to all Bury fans for that, but no apologies to our defence right there. It's been horrific. I'm going to scream at them all at half time because to let him shoot from there and get a goal against the second string keeper is terrible as we trail 1 0. We've just made a great tackle through Danny Rose, Sean Scannell. To turn, get his foot on the ball. Now he gives it to Elliot Hewitt. Hewitt to try and whip a ball in, but he's had it nicked off him by um, the left back who did a really smooth turn there, trying to take the make. And it's Williams who ignores the run of Hewitt. Only to go back to him though when he's around. The keeper looks like coming out. Hewitt on the angle, and Hewitt with the instant reply. Well, not really instant, but a reply at that. This guy, of course, was up for player of the month and, in my opinion, should get it every single day of the week. What a player he has been through from Williams, the top assister, even though he's up front and got quite a few goals himself. And it's on the angle. It's so, so hard to put in. But Hewitt puts his laces through it and gets it in. But it is only level, boys. Let's try and get in the lead. As Mansfield straight back on top again. It's Cook. It's 2-1. I mean, I've got ahead of myself without even knowing it. I thought we were back in the game. It's Lapils who puts another ball through. He's been great in the midfield. To Andy Cook, who scores. ex Grimsley player again. What is it with well, ex-players just haunting us all the time? It's a great finish from Cook. Got to give him that. But we shouldn't let him through like that. Even bobbled up. But the power he got underneath that was phenomenal. 2-1 Mansfield. It's time to try and get straight back into the game immediately as Cook... I thought he was turning in. Hasn't turned in. He went for the pass. Cook still on the ball. We've got a tackle in there. He's fallen straight to one of their players. And is that Lipils himself? I think he may have his own goal. He has. This guy's run the show here for Mansfield. He's only on loan at them as well as we just can't deal with the attacks. And it is 3-1 to the Stags. Top of the league showing why they are top of the league. We've had too many defeats. We're only second because of the draws really, aren't we? And I'm putting my team down a lot by now. Because... It has been dreadful. Mansfield 3, Grimsley Town 1. And it's going to be half-time, yep. Changes have to be made. They have to be because this has been an absolutely dreadful half of football. We are actually losing 3-1 at home. I mean, at the start of the season, we're losing 3-1. I didn't mind it, but the position we've got ourselves in, we should be doing a lot better as Hartigan is going to come on for Harry Clifton. I don't know about changing right wing yet for Max, uh, Maxi Wright, but... I don't know about Gibson and Jackson Jr. as well. Williams, of course, has an assist to his name. That's what I'm thinking. But maybe later on, drop him into central midfield. Take Hewitt off for a rest and get one of them up front. Maybe I do that. And we start the second half off with a free kick for Nicky Maynard. He's going to whip this in. He is. They, uh, they almost got the header on it as well, which is shocking defending from us. Out to Bennett now as Bennett goes through the side of the field into Scannell. Scannell to keep on running. Maybe we could get one goal back here. Get a good pass in the middle. There we go. It's Elliot Hewitt for two and he's got another at the close post. We're not celebrating this one though. Go and get that ball. Or I'll just I'll just skip it all together. We need to get back into this game. 
it, it's shocking at the moment. If we score an equaliser, yeah, fair enough, but it's only a consolation as it stands. But who would have thought of this at the start of the season? It's another free kick for them. Can we counter-attack on it again? That would be nice, Nicky Maynard. We put it in Matty Pollock, getting the header to um, our left back. I forgot his name. I think it's Hope, isn't it? As we've got a ball up to Bennett. We could actually score from a free kick of theirs. Again, it's Kyle Bennett. Bennett to try and turn inside. He does so, but it's shocking for him to lose it. Saito with the ball through as well to Reed, who's just come off the bench to kill the game off. It's gone. Spokes get on the field, mate. Hewitt's not getting a hat trick. We're probably not getting the win. As it's a great goal from Mansfield once again. Oh, it's it's an off game. It really has been. We haven't played too bad. I'm 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 happy. I'm proud of the boys how they came out in the second half. But it's just a shame. We still, of course, have won this second half if it stays as it is, haven't we? Oh no, we maybe have drawn it. I think it's far too. We would have drawn it. So it's definitely been an improvement in the second half. But still, the result overall is not good. Oh, and it could even be five like it was against Northampton. It is. Oh, FIFA has a funny way of working, doesn't it? As Nicky Maynard gets another from this game. I think that might be his hat-trick, actually. I'm not sure. But it is another goal for him, and it's 5-2 against Mansfield. Right. Slightly embarrassing now, boys. I didn't want to concede another one. Of course, it is rustling net. Maybe McEwen would have made a difference. Maybe not. But Mansfield have been great here. I honestly can see them winning the league. Best team I've played. And it does look like... Probably game over. Oh, what a shocking pass as well from Hope, our left back, not giving any to us. As that is the final whistle. 5 2 to Mansfield. Bit of a uh, sluggish game that. We're not going to stay second place, I don't think, after that. As yeah, dominated by the better team. And yeah, it is Forest Green who have leapfrogged us. And the other teams that far off us shows how just open. This league is George Williams scoring off the uh, top scorers as well as a flick to that side. And we have two simulated games, I think, coming up next. Got to win them. And, oh, here's Barrow next as well, who are fourth. Damn, I didn't expect this game to come up so soon. I am going to simulate this one, though. I'm just going to take, like, a two-second break from playing games. As McEwen should be back as well, and we should be back firing. It is a bit of a risk, but there is other games I want to play as well. And, of course, I want to try and climb the leagues and see how many teams I could play. And I haven't played... Tranmere or Crawley. And I want to play Tranmere the most at Blundell Park as well. So I'll simulate the two away games today. I think that's right. And there is only one change going into this Barrow game. And I'm going to make it right now. You should know what it is already. I mean, he didn't do himself justice really conceding five goals, did he? Um, old Sam Russell. As McEwen's back in there. Hendry, Holmes, Pollock, Doig, Rose, Hewitt, Clifton, Scannell, Williams and Bennett. But also another thing I'm going to do. James McEwen, as much as I love you. I'm going to strip you of the captaincy because Matty Pollock is a great player. And I want him to take us forward. McEwen's aging a bit as well. I do want to keep him around for a couple more seasons. But Pollock is one for the future. And his rating's only going to just skyrocket up even more. As Barrow are a good team. Managed in real life by um, recently ex-Grimsby boss Michael Jolly. Who's actually doing quite well. They've got Zuma at the back. Of course, it's not the main zoomer. And five at the back. No hard castle in the team, though, which I like to see. Dixon, the player of the month, goalkeeper's in net, though. So hopefully you can beat him. As can we get the victory? We do! And Pollock scores. Well, that is fitting. Hardcastle was on the bench. Pollock with a goal. As Scannell got the first. And James got one for them. But three points is all that matters. Great to see we can get a win in these conditions. As we play Tramia next, who have just lost, as I saw, to Port Vale. So that is a very good sign. They've got some... Some niggly players in there like James Vaughan. He's just one that likes to get stuck in and break people's legs as Gibson offers. Keep flying in, not accepting them. As here it is, I've still got faith despite a couple of changes in that lineup with McEwen in there. Hendry, Holmes, Pollock and Preston for the first game in a while. Just because, of course, I don't want the club to moan in Nottingham Forest. Clifton, Rose and Hewitt are in the middle. With Max Wright, of course, asked about his game time. He's going to come straight in. Don't want him to get unhappy. With Gibson up front, he's warranted a start with a hat-trick. And Martin on the left, he was decent also. And how did Tranmere line up? These will be full strength, won't they? Or maybe not. Vaughan's on Woolery on the bench with Davies, O'Connor, Month. Clark, McDonald, Spear and Young, Banks, Khan, Smith and Ferrier up front. Okay, I expected a lot stronger. They've got good players on the bench. So yeah, we've weakened, they've weakened. It's a typical midweek game where both want to get more players involved. So let's try and take advantage of this, shall we? However, it's Ferrier starting off the better. Two slides missed, but Hendry comes across, makes a tackle. Bounces to Pollock with a great pass up to 
Harry Clifton. Clifton's got the run of Hewitt on as well. Elliot Hewitt could be in for another goal. Straight from their attack as well. Voice break. Oh, and he's hit the side name. And yeah, we're back on the defensive uh, duties as it's Ferrier looking for that ball. Great defending from Luke Hendry. There's Hewitt now to come forward. Max Wright has to be in this team. Prove why you should be a regular starter over Scannell, who's decent. As Wright cuts inside, Max Wright still going, goes for a shot. I like that running. And Smith. On to this guy that Pollock's supposed to be watching. Oh, it's a great time tackle as well. Good bit of acceleration from Harry Clifton as well on the ball right here. Montel Gibson, get out of the way. As it's always Hewitt making them runs. Give me some run faster. And Hendry on the ball again. Gives it to Hewitt. Them two have been involved a lot, the two right backs. As Max Wright, come on. The first time you did me proud. Can you do me again second? That's a good ball. Just behind Montel Gibson slightly though. Good idea with it as Danny Rose has it. Gives it to Martin now, who's come across. Martin with a good rule, let inside straight to the defence. Oh, and what a tackle that is from Harry Clift in the middle. It's a really good tackle, you know, because it could put us through. Gibson, one-on-one -on -one with Tramir's keeper, nutmegs him. And Montel Gibson gets another goal. Four of the episode for him. And he's in the first team, getting his first start. And the fans are, well, not even the fans, the players are going mental because they know how much it means. First league goal for Monty. Nutmegs the keeper. It's been a bit of a struggle he won this. So it's good to finally get the goal. And good from another striker opening his scoring book in the league. And just before I have time, can't. Trying to come forward, but he can't. See what I did there? As Hendry's got the ball away. Come on, Max Wright. Make a run, please, Max Wright. It's Gibson doing it all. It's Gibson. Oh, my days, he's got in front of the defender. But Monty's a good defender. He's never going to get past him. He is a brick in the defence. One I might look at. In the summer with that record that we have defensively. Oh, that was shocking. As it is half time. 1-0 to us. I mean, yeah, these are in 19th. Maybe could be more. I mean, we beat Northampton League above by five goals. Maybe could be more. But I'm happy we've kept a clean sheet. And it's Tramir starting the second half off. Matty Pollock was running behind the defender. I didn't want to switch to him and make a rogue tackle there. As that's a tackle from Holmes, which is a bit rogue himself. He's improved a lot as Holmes, even though the record doesn't show it. I think he's been a lot better as Clifton's coming forward on a yellow as well. Got to be very careful with players. And Khan gives it to Smith. Tranmere trying to move forward slightly. Holmes with another little tackle, which just connects with his man. And no way has he given a penalty for that. How can you give a penalty? Holmes has his hands on his head. I do. I am out. Oh, my. I don't even know. I don't even know how that's a penalty. I don't even know what to say. As Holmes, he's tired. He's on a yellow card. I'm going to take him off. No, I'm not because it won't let me have missed the chance. As they make a substitution, it's Tranmere's chance to get back in the game from the penalty spot. McEwen saved one out of one penalty so far. And it's not going to be two out of two. It's a good finish from him. As Matty Pollock's been asked to come off for Buckley, I will make that sub get a centre back off as our record gets even worse. As um, Tranmere levels it up. Mike Dean, the Premier League referee, will definitely be happy with that. Sports Tranmere himself. As it's a good finish straight to the side. We dive the wrong way. Go right. Gamble. And it's level against the 19th side. Oh, this is a bit of a shocker, boys. Come on. Let's try and step it up a bit more. Spearing. Gives it to Khan. Khan back into pain. I mean, it's all Tranmere at the moment. This is all Tranmere as Hendry's dived in again. Good job it won to penalty, but we haven't blocked the ball. Ferrier! And it's an easy save for McEwen. And we can't let this be a draw from a dodgy penalty. And definitely not a win for them as it's a good tackle from Holmes. Not a good pass though, and it's another bad tackle. That could be another yellow. We're getting a lot of yellow cards. Had to block that though. They're just a team that I have to slide against because they don't use skills. So I've got a chance. They're sliding themselves as we've got the ball. Now Danny Rose... To come forward, last 15 minutes, chance to get a, a victory, it's Gibson, need to make a sub actually, maybe take Gibson off, let's look at that, sloppy, and it's Ferrier, as I was just taking um, him off for Jackson Jr, but it's Tranmere, who have nicked the victory surely with that goal, and don't tell me it's James Vaughan, he snaps the corner flags when he's at Grimsby, don't tell me it's James Vaughan, it's not, it's Payne, okay. But still, I'm not bothered about who scored, really, am I? It's Payne who has given us the worst pain, taking all the points away from us. Great finish past James McEwen. And yeah, looks like we could be heading for a defeat against a struggling Tranmere. Yeah, I rotated the team, but still, I don't expect this from the boys. As Harry Clifton. I honestly thought we'd got a second draw of the season here. Not many draws for us. As it's Jackson Jr. on now. We know this guy can be good when he wants to be. And when he doesn't, he doesn't. And Tranmere have just come to Blundell Park and ripped us to shreds. I mean, I have had to change the centre-backs as well. That may be another big factor. 
as this ball is to Martin. Martin just, he ain't doing it for me at the moment. Maybe a lone move's best for him as, come on, prove that you're worth here. As that's a poor ball and a good chance to put a good one through. Oh, the fans are booing Martin after that one. I am a bit on and off with him. We've got James Tilly at the club. We've got Edwards on loan. Maybe Martin has to go out and loan himself in January. It's just not good enough. It's not good enough. As I think the final whistle's going to go. I don't think we're going to get another attack here as they've still got the ball. Get a tackle in here. We might be having a chance, but it's another bad tackle. Probably a yellow at the end of this play. As Payne's through the middle, he's sweaty in here, and it's 3-1 Tranmere. Our defensive record is even worse. And we are dropping like flies down the table. And it's Khan. I made that joke his name earlier. Why? Why has he come back to punish us? It's a sweaty. McEwen was nowhere near it. And yeah, 3-1 Tranmere. They've deserved it as they've wrecked us at Blundell Park. And there's the final whistle. They've been better than us. They've been better than us. We get results against teams that are around us like Barrow. Of course, yes, we lost to Mansfield. But this is a game expected to win. 3-1 against Tranmere. Work has to be done. And we drop down to fifth. We're still in the range. I mean, Oldham are flying this season. Uh, Port Vale as well and Forest Green. We're still in the range of up there, so I don't mind. As we play Crawley next. In a simulated game, I'd expect to win this one. And I've had to change the team up a bit for this one. A bit on and off. Some players that I don't expect to be in there, but are. With McEwen in goal. Hendrick Buckley coming in for Holmes. Rest him. Pollock. And Doig, I think I called Hope earlier actually, with Rose and Hewitt and Hartigan in the midfield instead of Clifton. Scannell, Jackson Jr. and Bennett. I mean, I was resting my players against Tranmere a bit for this game, but then when I've seen that we in fact have Oldham after this who are flying in the start of the next episode, I've had to rotate a bit for this one. For the final game of the episode, 17th place, of course, Tranmere were down there, so I'm not trusting league positions anymore. We play um, Crawley. I know that Nadeson guy up front's good. Hessen Tyler as well, who... Left Grimsby, unfortunately. Great player, but he had to leave to go back down south when Holloway got rid of him for some reason as we lose to them as well. Bullman with a goal, Nichols and Scannell. Oh my days, dominated the game and we are slipping down this league, boys, come on. Yeah, we started off bottom, but then we got our way to the top. And now it looks like at the form we're on now, we could be slipping back to the bottom. We just don't draw as well. We don't draw, we either win or lose. No middle ground as let's have a look at the league where we finish off. We are still in the playoff places, which surprises me. Nine defeats in the league and we're still in the playoffs. That just proves how our wins have been so vital to us. Oldham, who we play next episode, are now top of the league. We could go top of the league if we beat them and all the other results go elsewhere our way. But I can't believe that we could still do that ourselves. Scunthorpe down there, you love to see it as it's Cambridge who were bottom. We drew to them as well, but they've got the same amount of defeats as us, and they're bottom of the league. That's just an amazing fact. That is unfortunately, guys, I'm going to round the episode off here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. I'm going to try and set up another series to go alongside this one to say thank you for the 1K. Also, if you want to vote for one, I have got one set up, but if you want to vote for one, I am open to do so. If you just want to pick one, I'll go with the flow. So, I'm burping here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. In a bit, peace.